Hi Tech and Talk. In today's video, we are going to upgrade ASP.NET MVC project built on .NET Framework 4 to .NET 6. And the good thing is this time we are going to use .NET Upgrade Assistant, uh, which is available in the form of Visual Studio extension. I already made a video uh, where I upgraded my previous project using command line tool, which was Upgrade Assistant. You can see here. So through that tool, I I upgraded that one both works the same way uh here you you need to upgrade your project using command line but i will say this is a much more easy way to upgrade your project so i uh, i already have installed that extension into my Visual studio and uh, this is my legacy project and you can see that there are some libraries inside here which i consumed in my web-based mvc project and that project is based on dotnet 4.7 it doesn't matter if it's 4.7 6 or 8 but yeah uh, these are the legacy legacy projects so in today's video i am going to upgrade this project to dotnet 6 and how i can do that just by using that that extension so i already have installed that uh, if i double check the extensions i go to my extensions you can see that it's already in the top of this dotnet upgrade assistant all right so this is a project which i am going to upgrade to dotnet 6 from dotnet 4.7 so it is very quick and simple as compared to what i did in my last video through command line tool so i will click on upgrade right click the project i clicked on upgrade i have now two options upgrade project to a new dotnet version or upgrade project features i will say i want to upgrade to a new version so here i have only one option side by side incremental project upgrade all right which means i will be upgrading my project uh side by side and now i have two options uh, I can um, create or upgrade an uh, existing project or I want to create a new so I will be going for the new one this time I will click next next I need to give some name so that is a good name web app core and project template I will be using ASP.NET Core MVC so yeah uh, if, if you have ASP.NET MVC web API project then you can convert that one into this one because I was having MVC project not the web API one I will go for this one the first one i will click next now i have couple of options available so this upgrade assistant even the cli tool only upgrade to dotnet 6 7 or 8 right so these are the options i am presented with so i will go for 6.0 this time which is currently long term support so i will click this one and click on next okay next there are a couple of action that will be performed uh you can see that from the previous project things will be copied into the new template and okay i will click on finish it will take few seconds to go through all those steps and create a new project based on the existing project or using the components from the existing project so you can now see that uh, this is already updated all green ticks are done so i will double check different things that how things are done are uh, components dependencies and the configurations all right i will click on done here all right now i have given a couple of options uh, or although the template is done i will ha have option to upgrade control class or view all right so i will go with the upgrade control so i have home controller here uh i will click on this one and click update and i will click on the options so i will if there is any class involved routes or views i want all those to be updated it will take few seconds to update all of those and you can see the seven succeeded zero failure which is good and now i have my views available in this new template as well all right now what i do or what i can do i can select this project as my startup project configure yeah set as startup project all right and i will rebuild the solution once done and i will press ctrl f5 all right it's initialized okay the first error you will see whenever you will be uh, updating your mvc based application is index not fine which means the views are not able to be located by the framework so what we need to do is uh, you need to go to dependencies then packages and here you need to go to the browse and you need to find a package what package it is it is this package yeah so uh asp.net core 
MVC Razor Runtime Compilation. So this package help us to use those views while running the application. I will select this one and I want this to be from .NET 6. I, I will use the latest .NET 6 framework from there and I will click install. And that's why I have that link opened here. Uh, yeah this one so this package is required to use the views uh, in the description you can see that runtime compilation support for razor views razor pages so if your project is razor views based or razor pages based you need this package to be installed all right let's go to the solution again and that is now installed one last thing we need to do is need to go to your project uh, the your program.cs file and here just before builder.build you need to add one line and this line is to call those runtime compilation option so that will be builder.services.add controller with views and i want that with add razor runtime compilation option right let me press control s and again start the project and if i go now here and let's wait for a few seconds it's refreshing let me rerun the project seems like it's taking some time let me rebuild once rebuild the project and uh, yeah all right and by the way next error was all also expected uh, let me show you why and by the way i don't think so that line is required here because we already have edges for for controllers views here in, in, the, in this line okay now you can see that there is an error coming uh here because in the copyright section uh, here in the layered file I have used a service which is uh, coming from that services library here and that is to give us the current year for copyright and why this error is coming because that library is still on dotnet framework if i open the configuration you can see it's still on 4.7 so i need to upgrade that one as well i will right click on this one and click on upgrade and i will click on in place project upgrade because it's already been references to different projects so i will click on this one the first option we will see other options in next tutorials uh, but for now let's upgrade this one right away here and i want the uh, .NET 6.0 here next and yeah upgrade that for me again it will perform some steps for us on the ui and we just need to watch and double check all those steps are performed and successfully done so yeah it's it's done as well and if i again now click on this one you can see that the target framework is updated to 6.0 that was what we required i will rebuild this project as well and if i go to that layout file again the error should be gone right away because now both are on same framework i will press ctrl f5 again some says is not okay that is not in current context okay let me check if we have added that dependency no that is not added i will click on this one and see if that one is resolved and let me rebuild once again do we need to import that here using services dot or only services and if i go to my layout again yeah so that line was missing so whenever we need to use uh, any reference on in, inside our views we need to go to view impost.cshtml and need to include that uh, assembly name or namespace all right let me read in that project again so that was the old template which was based on dotnet 4.7 and now our new project is running yeah so now you can see that we have our application running now and if we navigate to different routes those are working fine though we need to double check how the stylings are included first styling i will add folder here ww root and i will copy the contents from here inside ww root and i will be copying scripts 
from here to WW root and I will rebuild the project and rerun once again and for the CSS part I will be adding style here style sheet and here you can see that it's already inside the content I rerun the application once to see the changes if we are able to load the styles and now let's again add the bootstrap style as well yeah finally you can see now uh, the UI is the same as we have previously. Uh, if I close the development tools, right? So this is how we have converted from ASP.NET MVC framework 4 to .NET 6.0 without any change on the UI. All the functionality is embedded in now .NET 6.0. So that was all for this video. Um, I hope you can see that it's very easy to upgrade your project from .NET 4 to 6. Same if you want to upgrade directly to 7.0 or from .NET 6 to 7.0. I will create separate videos for those uh, migrations. So that was all in case of question query do ask me in the comments. Till then the next video stay tuned and keep coding.